Hi everyone, it's Andrea and I'm here today to do a colouring book haul. I've got quite a lot of colouring books in May, I didn't realise how many. Um, I know the last kind of colouring book haul I did was at the end of um, April when I came back from London and I showed you what I bought in London. So I'm going to show you what I've got recently. Now you might have noticed that the channel name has changed to Andrea's Attic. The reason for this is um, the channel's not just about books, it's about all sorts of different hobbies, about books, colouring, um, photography, my Marilyn collection. So I thought, you know, sort of things that you'd keep in your attic and I've been asked to show things like my vinyl record collection and um, other things. So I thought I'd change the name and make it more of a, um, a hobbyist channel where there would be book stuff, there would be curry books and so on. I also hope to film some videos with my dad uh, soon as he takes me around where he grew up in Bristol and tells me all his uh, memories. But first of all, on to the colouring book haul. So this month I got Star Wars, the anti-stress colouring book. Now I got this for the um, uh, Star Wars Day colorathon, colour along, which was like, you know, May the 4th be with you, so it was Star Wars Day. So I got that one. I've got one that you've already seen this month, which was the Totally Bodacious 80s Colouring Book by Zen Masters. I'm currently working in this one. I love it. Then I've got the Doctor Who Colouring Book. I am a huge Doctor Who fan. I've been a Doctor Who fan since the 1980s, because I'm old. <laughs> so I got that one. I'm very excited. There is another one that I want as well. I got Escape to Oz by Good Wives and Warriors. I love The Wizard of Oz. I love the books. I love the films. So I thought that would be, you know, very me. And I do like these little, sort of like pocket sized ones you can just pop in your purse and take around with you. That's not one I've been working in. Right, so I got The Grimm's Fairy Tales uh, by Jade Summer, which I got because we were doing Grace's Colour Along at the beginning of the month. I love Jade Summer. I really do. I think she's fantastic. I've got about six of her books now. Another Jade Summer one I got this month. I think it was this month. I don't think I've shown it, but if I have, I'm sorry. And that's the Angels colouring book. So this is lovely. This one I got in the works. I'm, again, I'm not sure whether I've shown it or not, but hey, it's such a pretty, pretty cover. I have done some in this. Today I went to the range with my dad. The range is like a DIY shop, homeware shop, where they sell all sorts of things from furniture to art supplies, clothes, books, garden things. And I got two colouring books. I got uh, Enchanted Forest by Joanna Basford, which I really wanted wanted it for a while so I was glad to pick that up. I keep hitting the camera with the books but sorry about that. And my dad bought me the Aquarium Marine Creatures to Colour. I was looking at this book on Amazon and it's really nice, really detailed but uh, yeah so my dad picked me up, bought me that one. I've got Fashions of the Roaring Twenties colouring book. This is by Tom Turney. This is really thin paper. It's not really, really thin, but it's not very fat, very thick quality paper. But uh, this um, artist, um, Tom Turney, is a brilliant artist. So a little bit about the fashion style at the time, what years these fashion styles were in. He actually previously has done um, paper dolls that you could buy. Um, he did Marilyn paper dolls and Judy Garland paper dolls and so on. So there are a lot of various things. And he's got quite a few books. This is a Dover book. But I really like this sort of thing. So I picked up that one. I love it. Are we getting more Tom Tierney? I got, oops, that's nearly gone. I got another Selena Fennec book, which is The Goddess and a mythology colouring book. I love Selena Fennec, I'm not going to lie. I think her women are absolutely stunning. 
and I can't wait to get colour in in this book. I'm really going to enjoy this. Um, and hers, uh, these ones are single sided. It's not thick paper, but it is single sided paper, which is great. And you do get two of each. I then also got Summer Nights, finally got Summer Nights by uh, Hannah Calzon, which is, as you know, oh no, oops, see, I hit the camera again, is absolutely gorgeous. And I love these, I love the houses and, and buildings and oh, and the gems and it's just, it is stunning. I'm glad I picked this one up, finally. There is one other colouring book I'm going to show you, and I've also got one more colouring book to come, but I don't think it'll come this month, so it will move over into June's haul, should there be a haul. And I was very, very lucky to get a copy of Nicholas F. Chandranata's book, or as he's known as Nick Filbert, Serene. Now, I'm in a group, the Fantasia and Serene colouring group on Facebook, and one of the women in there offered to do a place a group order for copies of Serene from direct from Nick, and it was very expensive, I'm not going to lie, to get over from the States. But the quality of the art, it's obviously signed, which is nice. The paper is very, very thick. I mean, it, it is, it's card. It's very thick. The pictures are absolutely stunning. I'm terrified of actually colouring in this book because it is so detailed. I will at some point. I'm not ready for it yet. At the moment, I'm just enjoying the look of the book. It is absolutely stunning. His artwork is brilliant. And I, from what I understand, this book is now out of stock. There aren't going to be any more copies published and because he's working on a new book. So I'm, I feel very lucky to have been able to get a copy of this. It's absolutely stunning. So I'm very happy with this. I would like Fantasia as well, but I'm, I'm quite happy to have Serene. So <laughs> I'm very, very lucky. So as you can see, that's quite a haul. So that is, let's have a look. One, let's just turn that around. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen books. So that is quite a haul for this month. I did also get some more of the Derwent Colour Soft that I wanted, but I'm not going to film those because, yeah, that's pointless. You don't need to see those. Um, I think I've got eight of the colours I didn't have and I'm still collecting them. So that is it. I'm off because I've got a lot more videos to do. Um, obviously it's nearly the end of May, so I'll be doing a colouring wrap up, my normal booktube wrap up, my book haul, the books I've bought this month. Um, there'll be a colouring chat coming soon and all sorts of other things as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you very, very soon. See you later guys, bye.